Hi there, thanks for joining us this week on The Weekly Word. Happy Independence Day to everybody. Uh, the shots that you saw earlier from the monument up on uh, Okoy Street in Cleveland, Tennessee, uh, we're moved downtown to the city cemetery now. Today it's called Historic Fort Hill Cemetery. Back in the 1800s, they just called it the city cemetery. And I'm standing at a place where the uh, there was a big ditch dug and 240 Confederate soldiers were buried here, probably stacked like cordwood. At the time, they didn't know who they were. They were killed in a train wreck down around the Black Fox area south of Cleveland. Uh, it was the 33rd Alabama Volunteers. I wanted to say something about the monument that we shook, had the pictures of. That was put up in 1911, and it's put to, put up in in memory of the known and unknown Confederate dead by DAC group, Daughters of American Confederacy. And in 1911, it was a really big deal. They had a, a I've read about it. They had a big blow out there. Hundreds of people came, and lots of people spoke people who were veterans from the Confederacy and people who were veterans from the uh, from the Union Army. The Civil War had been over 50, almost 50 years, I guess. And it's interesting, you can still read the speeches and they nobody was divided or angry. Everybody was celebrating together and everybody thought it was a good thing. It took until about uh, 2020 so we got a bunch up there in town who were protesting all summer long because they said it was a monument to racism. Well, I never thought it was a monument to racism. I thought it was a monument to a, a bunch of private, bunch of kids that got killed in a train wreck and they just had to bury them in a ditch here in Cleveland. The unknown Confederate dead. There was another group of 60 something of them killed on the north end of Cleveland up around Tassel. So they had all these Confederate dead and the, the neat thing about that monument, I always thought, is if you look at the figure on top of it, he's a, that's not a general, it's a private. And they're the ones that really fought this war anyway. And most of them, they were there because uh, they didn't have any choice. They conscripted a lot of people in back then. And uh, if you were conscripted in, it's what we later become called drafted. I mean, you didn't have a choice. You'd have had to go too. So regardless of whatever the war was about back then, in 1911, everybody knew that it was over. It took another hundred years before people started getting so divided they're wanting to fight the Civil War again. In fact, it's almost ironic that down here where all these unknown soldiers are buried in this ditch, flying over their graves today is what would have been called the Union flag back then, which is appropriate because the war's over and we're all Americans. Now, sometimes we say these graveyards is the final resting place, but really it's not. It's not the final destination for sure because uh, some of those guys were probably Christians and some of them probably not, unfortunately. I hope they all were, but just according to math, probably not. So today some of them would be in heaven and some of them would be in hell. But the thing is, uh, you're still alive, and you can choose where your final destination is. I hope you've said yes to Jesus, and that's the main war. There's a war between Satan and between God over people's souls. Make the right choice. We'll see you next time. Happy Independence Day.